Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast, where we talk facts over feelings here. Thank you so much for continuing to support of our channel. I'm going to just jump right in on this topic because this topic pisses me off. This is another piss off topic. And it really bothers me because it just shows such a lack of fucking sense. The levels of tone deaf that someone has to be to make a joke about living completely over their means in terms of salary to rent. Now, I understand Angel Reese makes way more than she than she than her salary is in the WNBA. She makes way more than that. She has deals with Reese's pieces. She has Reebok. She has other deals, I'm sure, um, with, with some clothing lines or what have you. She has deals. We know this. Her endorsement deals, I presume, are sizable. She also has social media, so she gets monetization on the stuff that she posts in social media. Do I know how much Angel Reese makes per year? I have absolutely no idea. I would say it's probably in the in the few million. Um, I don't think it'd be more than five. I think if it's five, I think five would probably be pushing it. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she is making more than that. I don't care. But she drops a video where she makes a joke, laughs, giggles about how. She doesn't know what her salary is in the WNBA for one, which is utterly ridiculous because there are 180 players in that league and the vast majority of them don't get one single dime off of endorsements. They don't get one single dime off anything that goes beyond their WNBA paycheck, which is why so many of them hopped on a plane the second the season ended and flew their fucking asses to Europe to play basketball there, or they can make some real coin. But Angel Reese is tone deaf, and Angel Reese thinks that posting shit like this is a good look. This is like, it's one thing after the other. You know what? She's got us, man. She got us. She got us. Because she knows that every time she says something stupid, we're going to talk about it and we're going to keep her relevant in the media because the reality is she is an utter imbecile because the stuff that she says, she actually finds funny and she believes. She invites that Travis Kelsey ex-girlfriend. And of course, now that video has been her pretty much like one of her most watched videos thus far, where she's sitting here making it about her and basically embarrassed Travis Kelsey's ex-girlfriend. I mean, Travis Kelsey's ex-girlfriend is nothing more than a side piece. She's a side chick and she's a single side chick. That's what she is. Do I look like a person that would go 50-50 on bills? No, you look like a person who's going 100% on bills because you don't have a man. And your ex dropped you for a billionaire. How about them apples? While wow, Angel Reese is sitting there saying, I liked y'all together. You didn't even know them when they were together. You oh. you didn't even know them. They've been broken up for three freaking years. You were in you were at Maryland three years ago. Get out of here. But it really bugs me while there are people that work their tails off in the WNBA. People that are in that league who don't make anything more than their check. I'm going to mention this name just for sake of it. Dijon Carrington makes 65000 a year. Dijon Carrington ain't got no sneaker deals. Dijon Carrington don't have no makeup deals. Dijon Carrington don't have no clothing deals. Dijon Carrington is living in some two-bedroom apartment in freaking Connecticut. In the middle of nowhere, Connecticut. Maybe a one bedroom for that matter. Because when she did her little video with Melissa, that looked like a small little ass one bedroom apartment, maybe two bedroom apartment kitchen. Who knows if the WMB, if the, if the team actually pays their rent? But she's not living large. She might be dressing large in all her sheen clothing. Or Fashion Nova clothing, which is all cheap shit. But these players are not making money. And Angel Reese is posting this type of absolutely ridiculous 
garbage. Let me show you. I just hope y'all know the WNBA don't pay my bills at all. I don't even think that pays one of my bills. <laughs> Literally. I'm trying to think of like my rent for where I stay at. I'm going to do the math real quick. It might cover that. Yeah, it, is it, covers, that. it is definitely it, covers that. What is my, I don't even know my salary. 74? Okay. Times. Here, I'll do it. Yeah. I don't even know what's oh. going Does it? Let me see. You don't even. <laughs> Yo! I'm living beyond my means. <laughs> it's like. Um, no, my rent is more than that. It's 8,000. This moron spends $100,000 a year on rent in Chicago. I want I want you to think about that. A hundred thou a year on rent. You know what they didn't teach at LSU? Financial literacy. She is a bonehead. She is spending eight thousand plus dollars a month on rent which means she's spending probably roughly close to 10 maybe on housing and she her her her, her professional job salary is 74,000 a year yes we know she's got the endorsements we know she's making way more than that we we, we know we know but there are people in this country who are literally living check to check, struggling to pay a bill. And she makes a joke about that. While this country is suffering through the, the worst inflation in, for, in a long time, where a gallon of milk costs $6, where eggs cost $6, where a loaf of bread costs $4, where it costs $16 to get a combo at McDonald's. Where I take my sons to dinner tonight for three of us for $75 at Ale House. And we got chicken wings, chicken strips, and a burger. $75. People are struggling in this country. Debt is at a high. It's ve credit card debt for people is very high. This is data. And this thing that is sitting here joking about spending over 8000 a month in rent. The, the lack of financial literacy for this young woman is scary. You don't know what you make. You don't know what you make. Do you know what your endorsement dollars are? Angel Reese is the type that will end up broke and bankrupt at 30 because she won't be in the league inside of five years. Her goal is to be an influencer, not a basketball player. Everything she's doing is trying to set herself up to be an influencer so that her inability to play basketball won't be the reason that she loses every endorsement deal that she has. She better pray to God or whatever higher being, higher power she believes in. She better pray to that higher power, higher being that she does not get truly injured, a real injury that makes her invisible on the basketball court in the next year or two. Because the only thing that will carry this type of garbage and make anyone care that she's on a cover of Reese's Pieces or if she's has a sneaker deal, guess what? When you're not playing, you lose your sneaker deal. And I don't believe her sneaker deal is substantial in any means, by no means. I don't believe her sneaker deal is substantial. I, I highly doubt it. Um, and it. And the way she travels, where she's literally going on private planes now everywhere, I mean, hey, that's the, real, that's the quickest way to go broke, unless someone, unless she has a sugar daddy paying for it. Ah. Who knows? 
Who knows? But while people struggle and are and and we have a major election coming up in less than three weeks, she's sitting here ha ha ki keen, ka ka ki keen about how she spends over eight thousand dollars a month on rent in Chicago when someone of her means should be buying a property or two or three and actually creating wealth for her family, for her future children if she chooses to have some at some point in her life. God bless us all if she does because of anything like her. Oh, my God. But if she does, we hope she matures a little bit and starts to act like an adult and not dress like a harlot everywhere she goes. Give her credit at the Victoria's Secret thing or whatever the heck they did. She dressed very nicely. She looked like an adult. She didn't look like a hooker. Congrats. Angel, maybe someone finally spoke to you about how to dress when you go out, when you're someone of your stature, someone who is uh, pretty much the, the second face of the WNBA after Caitlin Clark. But to joke and ha-ha kiki about how, how much money you spend in rent, It's not funny. It's actually embarrassing. It shows that you're you're completely incompetent. And it shows that whoever's managing your, your, your financial portfolio is not guiding you very well. There's no one on earth that should be dropping 8,000 plus a month on a rental apartment in Chicago. And I know what rent goes for in Chicago because I was looking at moving to Chicago at one point. Even in the past few years, my wife and I were looking at it. And I can tell you this, 8,000 a month for an apartment is a, is a freak. I mean, it's, it's, that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You get no equity from this. You get nothing back for doing it. You're just giving your money away. And that money could just as well be put in purchasing properties that you can then rent out to people and actually get pro- make money off them. And grow a portfolio. Hey, what do I know? I'm just a dummy. I'm just a dumbass who's 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 watching the the continued degra- degradation of our society while we laugh and joke at fucking idiot kids who have influencer channels. And I'm not even talking about her. The the Jack Doherty's of the world. These idiots who crash Lamborghinis and think it's freaking hilarious. Prank videos of buffoonery. That should get you knocked the fuck out. Yet people, these dumbass kids watch this shit. And these guys become very wealthy off being complete utter morons. And now you have a professional basketball player who's following in footsteps of idiots. Who, who doing idiot things herself. Talking about I pay 100 k in rent. Did no one get anyone give you an account, a, a basic a class on financial literacy, she could buy, she could buy, she could buy a million dollar condo for 8000 a month on a mortgage. She probably wouldn't even need a mortgage because she probably has the money already from her endorsement deals. But let's say she does, which is what she should do is get a mortgage. Her mortgage would probably be less and her rent and she'd be making money off of it instead she's guided to rent on an eight thousand dollar apartment this generation of people is just deluded deluded it makes no sense no sense at all people that i know that are paying that kind of money living six thousand square foot homes I mean, with uh, look like an oasis, and you get an apartment. I, I, that's what I know. I'm, I'm guess I'm guessing it's an apartment because although I don't know any 22 year old that's renting a house because there are no houses in downtown Chicago. It's apartments. It's condos. Wild man, wild. And this is what you. And this is what we have our young kids looking. This is what we have young girls looking up to. 
That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We talk facts over feelings here at Rudy's Rant. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to pound that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. Come on now.